Hi, my name is J.R. Knowlton, a member of Black Gun Owners Association. And today I'll be talking to you about my personal EDC bag, everyday carry bag, get home bag, whatever you may call it. Uh, to the right, this is my range bag. I'll be doing a review on this later, but for now, we're going to go over this bag, which is my EDC bag. Looking at the bag, this is a Swiss Army bag. Um, Swiss Army, if you don't know anything about the company, great stand-up company. Make good quality, sturdy material, and I mean, it'll last for, for years to come. All right, starting from the front of the back, we've got the straps, very comfortable straps. Uh, nice padding on the back. I have a uh, actual light. Uh, opening up the side, the first side I have, of course, my laptop. Can't go anywhere or do anything without it. All right, we're going to break the back down. Next compartment we have is the secondary compartment, which is I have right here. Inside here, I have a map. Most of you don't realize uh, once the electronics and things go down, a <laughs> map is very important. This is one of the uh, DFW Metroplex. I have certain key points marked in here to where I need to get to just in case, like I said, my, my phone goes down or any type of thing. I could be able to have a map to be able to figure out my geographical location where I am. Uh, also with that, I have a, a poncho, and normally I keep my map and certain things tied up in uh, Ziploc bags to keep them waterproof, but uh, last time me and my sons were camping, last week, we had to use them. Here we go. Side compartments. Side compartment here. I have a uh, quick knife I can get to uh, for whatever purposes. I may need them cutting things, using them for the fence. And what not over here we have oh should take this out. Um yeah we're, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, put that back in there. Like I said, it's my everyday care. You never know when you need to uh take a squeeze. Uh over on the side, other side we have a um, another pouch here. This is where I keep my uh, you know, easy carry uh, pistol, keep a little rubber. I'll see 380 in here. Mags. I do have an extra, an extra mag to keep here. I'll move right along. Uh, my top, when I do my ADC bag, uh, this one and the one I had before, the quick access things are things that I would access on a normal and everyday basis. So when you're putting together your ADC bag or go bag, make sure that the things that you're going to probably be accessing anywhere from daily, once a week, or frequently, keep them in an easy accessible place. So my top bag, my top part here, I have things that I may need to use on a regular basis. Uh, my allergy medication. Inside of here I also have Motrin and other things. Um, I have some oral gel. Uh, this is like a, a quick first aid kit for most of things in there because I have this, this. Also I have, um, also I have some upset stomach. Go relief uh, for if I'm out anywhere and I have some upset, upset stomach, I can be able to suppress that. Uh, have some uh, disinfectant spray, Lysol, some carabiners. You can never go wrong with any of these things. Some Gorilla Glue, and last but definitely not, is a thumb drive. I keep a thumb drive with all my personal information, uh, just in case. Like I said. Uh, anything can happen and being able to access certain critical information that you may not have on your per person you can be able to get you in to access it I always have what I need outside the bag if you just notice this right here this is actually nothing but just a napkin or just a regular everyday napkin that you can go be able to wash your face wash your body do what you need to be but I keep that there on the outside All right, going into the good part the good components of the bag itself <laughs> Up here, all right. This right here, normally I keep this in the bottom. Uh, for this video, I just threw it in the paper bag. This right here is a set of clothes. There are numerous occasions where you may run across where you get soaking wet or may need an a, a extra set of clothes. And I change this out about twice, maybe three times a year. Depending on the weather and what time it is, you don't want shorts and a t-shirt in the middle of the winter time. What I have in here is I have a, a shirt, two pairs of socks, two pairs of underwear, and some, some, some pants. And normally, like I said, I keep this in a Ziploc bag, but due to the camping trip, 
the Ziploc bags that I used. All right, going right along. Every EDC bag needs a flashlight. Uh, going right along in here, deodorant for obvious reasons. I also have some uh, called Epic Wipes for the, the massive wet light. Maybe a situation where I need to take a quick shower or a combat shower, as you may, and uh, need a wet wipe to, to clean up. Uh, let's see. Gotta have my uh, utensils, spoon, fork, knife. I keep this in here. Uh, I've actually used this more than a, more than a, I have toothpaste and toothbrush. See, I have a emergency blanket. Emergency blanket is very important. There may be a situation where if you're out in the cold, this emergency blanket is is crucial, crucial and vital. Uh, I keep a headlamp. I have a flashlight here, but there's going to be a lot of times and situations where you may need to throw on a headlamp to be able to go hands free. To be able to slap that on, put a light on, and be able to operate with your, both your hands without holding the flashlight. So, there goes that. All right, moving right along. Uh, I'm going to cover this now. Uh, this is the first aid kit. Um, I have first aid kits pretty much everywhere. I'm one in my vehicle. I have one in my ADC bag. I want. You never know. I mean, first aid kit is one of those things that that you would hate to be hate to be caught without one. But glad you have one. Mine is a, a traveler's uh, first aid kit. It has the, the CPR kit, the gloves, bandages, has the shears, safety pins, uh, first aid booklet with a pin, waterproof pin, uh, tweezers, I mean, you need that. Going right along, uh, some motion, some motion. <laughs> Those that know I got this from VA. So, uh, here, I was going to say this later, but we'll get to it now. Uh, I keep food in my EDC bag uh, for obvious reasons. To me, an EDC bag is something given 24 hours. And maybe it's a point where I've stressed myself out. I will have uh, chicken and rice. This right here is almost like a, uh, this is a, uh, this is like a uh, MRE. Something you could uh, put together, throw water and heat it up, it's ready to go. My heating elements, um, as far as fire starters and things like that, I keep that in my 72 hour bag. I don't necessarily keep it in there. I do have a lighter, I'll get to that later. I keep that in here, but as far as fire starters, uh, uh, water resistant matches and all that good stuff, I keep that in, in my 72 hour bag. Uh, keep a trash bag. This is also one of those things that a lot of people don't think about. I've used this trash bag. I've had to replace this trash bag at least four times in the past year. Trash bags are very, very reliable and can be used for multiple different things. Uh, going right along, I have a uh, Easy Towel. Uh, this company right here makes this thing called Easy Towel. These things are wonderful. Uh, what you can basically do is take one, add water, it grows and it becomes an instant towel. I think they are. I'm gonna say 50 towels in this one bag. 50 towels. We have a uh, Doc Spartan combat ready ointment for burns and such. I just keep that in there. Another uh, health thing, first aid kit thing I can keep in there. Uh, I have some more wipes. These are body wipes. I've used these several times when I'm out doing camping. Get rid of uh, this goes without explanation. I mean, every EDC bag is not complete unless you have a multi tool. I mean, it, it's, I mean, I could stress the importance, but I don't want to go over things that y'all may already know. So we're going to move right along. Got to have it. Uh, see, oh, duct tape. More importantly, gorilla tape. This stuff right here, I've used this. The roll used to be this big. I've used this at least maybe seven or eight times this year. Uh, having some good reliable tape in your EDC bag. Uh, and actually most of the time it's not me even having to use it. It's other people that need things taped up and keep it together. And I'm gonna go, I guess it's gonna be jerky. 
and some literature. Um, some literature. This book in itself, have that there. All right. Now we get to the last compartment of the bag. This is the outer, outside part of the bag. We'll open this up. See what's in here. Uh, off the bat, we have some batteries. Uh, <laughs> batteries are so important. Everything from my flashlight uh, to my headlamp and communication systems and everything like that. Batteries are so, so vital and so important. I keep a set of batteries on me at all times. Uh, I have these sticks. Um, these are like little glow sticks. Uh, I found them online on sale. I bought like, like five or six of them for like a dollar. I got them. Keep them in my EDC bag. I got the real stuff in my 70 hour bag, but I haven't used these yet. Battery life seems to be working well. Uh, oh, this right here. One of the other things, kind of like the, um, kind of like the Leatherman, uh, some 550 cord. I mean, you gotta have this stuff. I mean, there's so many times that I've used this in this year that you wouldn't normally do. We're getting down to the end, so bear with me, bear with me. Uh, so right here, communication devices. I have two, uh, two walkie-talkies. I keep them charged up. Actually, I'll charge pretty well. Uh, I go in my bag and charge uh, these up about once every two months. Uh, obvious reasons, phones go down. I'm with someone. I may need to give them a uh, something for me to be able to communicate with them back and forth. So if I give them this, I take mine, we'll be able to communicate. Keep everything going. Uh, there's an HDMI cord. Yeah. Not HDMI. A USB cord. I just got one of those in there. Some more batteries. Some more batteries. Uh, lighter. Some more batteries. Check it out. I want to make sure I'm never caught without batteries. <laughs> Some more batteries. Oh, goodness, I don't have that many batteries. Uh, these right here, you know, these are camp soap sheets. Uh, these are great. These right here, this right here is 50 sheets. 50 sheets. Basically, what you do is you open them up. They're kind of like those uh, breath strips that go in your mouth. You open one of these up, put them on your hands, a little dab of water, and it pretty much turns into a, a soap sheet. Once your hands off, you're good to go. Alright, uh, going right through here. This is one I always get the question about. My deck of cards. Uh, I've been in a situation where time is your worst enemy. And it can also be your best. Uh, when it comes to a deck of playing cards, something to keep the mental sanctity going. Although this is only an EDC bag, uh, there may be a situation or scenario where you're caught in, in you have nothing but time in your hand. Whether you're trapped in a car um, trapped in a building, just anywhere. Uh, a deck of cards is kind of for mental uh, sanity purposes. And last but definitely not least, a key. Key to the city. I keep one of these. This right here is actually a, a very simple tool, but in a, in a case of urban survival, because uh, a lot of people get into the whole, well, you don't have a this, you don't have a that, you don't have... Well, I'm not in the woods or in the forest. I'm in the city. So I have things that's practically used in the city. This right here is a key, a water key that can be used for most commercial buildings that turn on the water. And this is a, a great, great, great urban survival tool. I would suggest everyone get one. And uh, I think that's about it. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you all soon. BGOA, stay ready.